Can you guys hear me? All right, perfect. Um, so a little bit fun fact about me. I work at Solo.io. I'm a CNC of TLC member. I'm also a founding member of the Istio project. And most importantly, I actually wrote a book. I actually wrote two books recently about Istio. One is about the psychologist Istio Explain. The other one is a children's book, which you can purchase at the CNC of book. All right, let's get started. Um, if you can't see the screen really well, I'd recommend you to walk up to the stage because I'm going to show a live demo, uh, which is a very brave uh, lightning talk. Um, so in my cluster, I have a client and HTTP being, which is my server. You can see I'm calling slash get and slash headers. And uh, I'm actually going to... Um, Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see even for me. So if you guys can see, I'll walk up a little bit to the front. So I'm going to enroll the namespace to ambient, uh, which I'm hoping to give me mutual TLS and uh, authorization policy. So this is my premises uh, dashboard. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, check out the metrics uh, generated, because I'm having some traffic sending in the background. So I'm expecting uh, mutual TLS traffic between my client and my server, which is HTTP. As you can see, I got spiffy ID for my source and destination. And you can see um, the connection policy is mutual TLS. So just by label my namespace, I got mutual TLS among my client and my server. Boom, I also get a dashboard. When I click on the connection, you can see um, the client is talking to HTTP server. Uh, you can see I got the padlock, which in indicates the mutual TLS, which you can also see on the right side. I got TCP metrics. Um, so all that's done automatically for me by power by Istio Ambient, uh, without me needing to drag the sidecar to my client or my server. All I did was just simply label my namespace with Ambient. Um, I got a cryptographic identity, I got mutual TLS space on that identity. So very, very easy, right? Uh, now the next thing we want to do is I want to apply layer 7 policy uh, to HTTP Beam. By doing that, I'm deploy a waypoint proxy uh, which runs outside uh, of either client or HTTP Beam for the particular namespace they are in. And uh, hopefully we'll start to get some layer 7 metrics, uh, finger cross. Uh, you can see the waypoint is showing up on the diagram. It's going to take a little time for the metrics to show up, so finger crossed. All right, looks like we did get some metrics. So you can see I'm getting HTTP layer metrics, which is 200 from the client to the server. And you can see I'm getting uh, also on the dashboard, I still get the TCP metrics, but also the HTTP metrics. Very, very exciting. Now, uh, let's go ahead and apply a policy. Um, so what we are going to do is um, preview together on the policy. So on this policy, we're going to say from the client, you can call get, but uh, you can't uh, call the slash headers. So which means one of the call on the left side, it starts failing with RBAC error because I have already applied the reach layer 7 authorization policy, and the traffic on the right side still remain unchanged. Now if you look at the waypoint proxy log, you can see the RBAC declined, uh, which, sorry, because it's not truly live, uh, it went up so fast. OK, one more thing I want to show is on the metrics, we saw 403 already. And from the dashboard, you can see client to HTTP beam. It starts to see 25% failure, right? Because the um, reach authorization policy I apply to deny access from um, client to HTTP being on slash uh, headers. So, um, and then you can also see on the dashboard, which by the way is powered by Grafana, you can see the traffic's mutual TLS and some of the traffic is uh, 403, which indicates RBAC denied. Um, all right. Is there anything interesting um, I'm showing? Let's see. Um, by the way, I really want to show a live demo, but uh, uh, I was not allowed. So uh, 
when, when you look at the logs, you can see the Waypoint Proxy has the RBAC D9 logs um, that indicates uh, the left side of the cur command uh, was, in, the policy was enforced by the Waypoint, so the RBAC was denied. Uh, from the same client to the server, it's just calling slash um, different URL paths uh, based on reach uh, authorization policy. All right, that is my talk. In five minutes, you can apply um, mutual TLS reach authorization policy without restart your application. If you're interested in my book, uh, we have book signing at our booth tomorrow, 6.30. Thank you all. <laughs>